this is the Pemai Night Market in Hoi Hin. It's a market that's on every Tuesday. Um, it's got all sorts here, there's loads of stuff. There's also a big food area. Uh, I'm gonna pin the location in the description below because I've noticed there's not that many Falangs, not that many foreigners that actually come here. It's mainly locals. Uh, so I'm guessing people just don't know too much about it. So yeah, I'm gonna put the location below so you can get yourself along. I'm gonna walk around, show you what there is. Uh, yeah, and I'll just turn the camera around and yeah, let's get going. It's a real mixture of goods that you'll see here at Pemai. Um, I'm going to start off showing you a lot of the clothes and sort of what's around this end of the market and then later on we'll move over to where the food is. You'll notice most of the clothes are women's but there are plenty of men's ones as well. Um, and when you look at the watches and the sunglasses, things like that, there's a bit less of the sort of fake branded goods that you'll see at the more touristy markets and more of you just cheap and cheerful, uh, unbranded kind of things. You'll notice the majority of things here are already priced up, so it's not set up for you to be haggling like you sometimes get at the touristy markets. Uh, it's just set prices, you either want it or you don't, which I find to be a lot easier and you tend to find a lot less uh, rip-off situations going on. These stalls that have all of the shoes and things on the floor, and there's a few others with bags and things like that on the floor, uh, they all they're all secondhand um, shoes or secondhand bags. Uh, some of them, the ones that look like they're new, they're not actually fake. They're they're like refinished or reconditioned real um, shoes. So quite often though, they'll put new soles on. Um, when I've bought them in the past, I find them to be pretty good. They're perfectly okay, uh, unless you put them in a washing machine to try and clean them, and then they just fall apart. But if you don't put them in a washing machine, there's nothing wrong with them, and they're very cheap for what they are.
That's most of the regular market bit. There's also what used to be a food court over there. Uh, it shut down during COVID, but it does seem to be getting a little bit lively. So hopefully that'll open up again. It's kind of similar to Bank on Par, which is the big, big food court on Soy 88. Uh, and I always thought it was a bit better because the music was a bit quieter. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go over to the food bit. There's a huge like food market here as well. It's all just part of the market. Uh, and they sell all sorts. So yeah, I'm going to go over there, film what they've got. So let's get moving.
I'm here on a Tuesday when everything's open, so everything's for sale. Uh, but if you come on the other days, this area of the market where they're selling fresh fruits and vegetables, that kind of thing, it is still open at some times. Uh, I think it's usually just in the evening, the same time as when I'm here. So uh, these sellers are sort of always here. Uh, yeah, and there's absolutely everything that you can imagine available. That's the end of the Pan Mai Market. It tends to get busy here around six o'clock or just basically after it's dark. Once it's dark, it gets quite busy. Um, you hear this music on around the edges as well. There's plenty of places to sit down and with all the food that's available sort of ready to eat, you can just buy stuff, sit down and eat. Uh, so yeah, it's a decent place for a little uh, evening out. Uh, there's all sorts of things here. Or other than the one thing that I came for, which is a motorbike helmet, I need a new one. There used to be someone selling them here. There's not anymore. So yeah, I was. Uh, <laughs> that's the one thing I couldn't find. But there's there's so much other stuff, and you see the prices are so much better here than on markets. They're more geared up to tourists. So yeah, it's definitely worth a visit. Um, I, I've put the description down in the sorry, I've put the location down in the description. So if you're not sure where it is or how to get here, have a look on there, and you'll be able to figure it out. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.